Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Tinker77. We are back on Full Craft. This should be episode four. Last time we were here, we uh, expanded out some of this into the big ship, as you recall. And then I was working on plastic, and I got the plastic done. And there it is. See, this machine's working out great. And actually, I've got a lot of plastic that's made in my inventory, so we have no problem with plastic. But I'd like to get this machine to automatically generate the plastic. So we're going to use a crafter for this. And we're going to start this off right away by making that crafter. So let's go up here. Let's see what it takes. Hopefully I got the stuff up here. We're going to use this regular crafter. It takes crafting tables, redstone torches. That's easy. Just the machine frame. Iron, 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 gold, gold, and lapis. Okay, so uh, do we have iron in here? We do have iron, but we don't have enough iron. So we will do the old-fashioned doubling here. Okay. And by old-fashioned, I mean we put it in here. Where is it? We'll put one or two. Let's put two in there. And that'll give us four iron. We need some fuel for that. Let's grab some. Ooh, I'm running out of coal. There's some coal. Okay, we'll put that over here into here. I'm going to hide this one so it doesn't take the power out of it. And we're going to make that iron. I'm going to put it over here in the furnace. And then we're going to have the iron. And just a little bit, we're going to have what we need so that we can make the crafter. So, yeah, that's cool. So if you're liking this video and this series, Full Craft, please hit that like button. Uh, that's very much appreciated. That helps me know how I'm doing. It helps YouTube know that I'm doing well. And if also, if you're here and you haven't subscribed, please think about subscribing. It doesn't really do... Uh, you much harm, but it helps me out so much. So please, if you're here, hit that subscribe button. Okay, I'll be right back once we have the iron, and we're going to make this crafter. Okay, I have enough iron now. Let's get the pieces that we need here for this crafter. Again, it's a machine frame. It's gold nuggets. we got to make some nuggets here. There we go. Okay, so we do that. There we go. We have that piece. And then we need the crafting tables and the torches. I know I made a ton of torches recently, so they should be here. Here's some torches. And we'll just grab some wood. I have some wood on me already. So there we go. And that should be all it is to make that. There we go. We have our crafter. Okay, so let's go on down here. And let's set this up. Now this crafter, what I want to do is I'm going to have it come out of this device and go into uh, the crafter. Now I'm wondering... Does the crafter this has have an output like on a side, like a configuration? It doesn't look like it. Okay. So how are we going to get items out of it? We're basically all blocked on all sides unless we put something. Uh, see, that's what I mean. I've been kind of boxed myself in here a little bit. But if we have a conduit going over here, maybe we can put something over it or hide it. Like a, something like a painter's thing or something like that. But it goes into here. Okay. Now, with that, we want to make a recipe. And we got to have this here. So let's make a recipe for this, okay? So it takes... Should be... Oh, here we go. My bad. Here we go. Okay, so it takes all that and sends it to external. We'll hit apply. Dry rubber. Okay, so now the rubber, we can make it go right from here to here. Now I just got to figure out how to make it uh, go, go through here without being uh, ugly. You know what I mean? So right now, let's just use one of the regular conduits for now, and we'll servo, and we'll be really good. So I put some of that in here. Item duct. And let's make a servo. Let's look at that real quick. Another one of these. Iron, iron, and some iron ingots. Uh, or iron nuggets, I mean. There we go. Okay. Now what else we need here? We need redstone. Okay. We've got redstone. we got lots of redstone. And there we go. Okay, so if I put this right here for now, it'll go into here. And if I put the servo on it and turn it on, this has got some power in it. Now let's see what's going on here. Um, it's going down, so it's going into here. There it goes. And it's making the dry rubber, which is excellent. So now we just have to make that go out into a furnace, and then we'll be good to go. So the next step is to get that furnace. The next step, I want that from the crafter to go into a resourceful furnace. And for that, we need some pieces that are down here. Uh, we know we're going to need some iron and some of the gold. Because if you look here, 
resourceful furnace let's take a gold gear let's make that there we go and then we need to make we have the plastic we have furnace we have buckets we just need to make one of these which of course takes more iron we're running low on iron i might have to go mining soon so i'll have to do let's do four more pieces of that upstairs in our little generator here a little um, mill so we'll put that in there and once again i need to get more power so we'll take out the coal that i have here we'll put it in here we'll get some more iron now's the time we're going to start to make these resourceful generators i've gotten a lot of resources i wanted to make three of them actually okay so we're going to make i believe it's this one right here with the plastic which i just forgot to get the plastic there it is okay now we got enough I should have enough to make three of these resourceful generators, and that's what I wanted. And I'll show you why here in just a second, okay? So I've made a space here. What we're going to do is I want to have an output chest here with a line going up, three or four resourceful generators, and a line going for a chest that we can put items into. We'll also run a, an item line up to here so that these generators will work that out, okay? So it'll be pretty cool when we get it done. But I want to get this working the way I like first. So let's go ahead and do this really quick here okay basically i want this here it's going to be the output of the chest going into the three going into this here which will be the resource generators going into the output for the whole system okay let me put in this pieces here i go i might have to make some uh walkways here while i get into doing this okay so we did all that right yes now let's see we need our item conduit okay and basically this goes from all three of the resource generators which are right here. Resourceful furnace. I keep saying generators. I mean furnace. Okay. And we're going to have to put servos on here. I probably don't have enough servos now that I think about it. But I'll take the output of all those and just take the output and throw it into the chest. Okay. There we go. And they take power. And they're getting power Okay, from our system up here. If you can see, this has got a lot of stuff it's looked up to. And we can put another one up here to make sure we have enough coverage. Okay. Now, each of these on top of this, I want to have going in from a chest right here, okay? This will be like our input chest, if you will. I should just actually take this off. Okay. Put a chest right here, okay? And we need a servo there, okay? So the idea being that if we have something we wanted to smelt up, like say this, this copper... Okay, should go in, and it should, one of these should be running, and it should then take it out to here. Let's see, is it any of these? And there it is, okay? So we have our, this is kind of like our system of where we put stuff in here, comes out here. This is the resourceful generator. Now, we want to also have a way, because this does this these items, but it also does fluid, and we're going to do that a little bit later, probably out through the back of the generators. It comes to like some sort of output into a drum. So right now, what I want to do is I want to tie this line in to the back of this, and then we should be good to go, okay? So let's see. We can probably go right in through right there. So let's go in. Let's just do right here. Okay. Now see where that's going right there. So probably we're going to have to cut across here. Uh, we'll come out. I mean, this is kind of weird planning it, but we'll come out. There's our uh, servo on it. And I'm going to actually go... Where are we going here? We're going up and over that way, right? I don't want it to tie into this line is basically what I'm trying to avoid. Okay, and we just go up. Right. One block past the wall. Probably went too far, didn't I? Let's see. Yes. Okay, so there we are. Now what we want to do is we want to go into right up there. Here it is. That's our input line, and I don't need it to go there or there. Hmm. Okay, so we got to go up to here and down and around. You kind of kind of have to do some weird circuitry sometimes for this stuff. Here we go. But I'm going to avoid it by going across. One more. I don't want it to tie in. Darn it. I'm going to go back here. I know it looks kind of weird. And right where I'm standing, basically. And there it is. So those pieces should then be coming out of here. 
in just a second. You see they're going down, and it should be. Let me put the uh, pet in here so I can get out of this hole. It should be going into here, and in a second we should be seeing the uh, rubber as plastic. If we did it right. <laughs> I'll be checking this out. It looks like it's right from what I can see. It is sucking it out. Yeah, there's nothing there. So where is it going? It should be going down and up and over and into this system here, which brings it into here. There they are. It's just taking some time. It's a little slow. But it's working. It's making the plastic, and that should be pulled out into here. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I think we're working. Let me uh, let's start to repair these walls here. I got a bunch of this uh, cracked cobblestone here. Yeah. There we go. Okay, and we got a piece of the floor. We'll put that back together. There we go. And I'm going to put some sort of like a stair or something up there. And we have a system. So I can bypass it by putting it in here. Or we can get the output here. Now, there are ways to speed up these conduits uh, with some uh, various types of upgrades. I haven't done that yet. And we can always go back and do that. But that is the basically the furnace system. So now I should be using this instead of everything else. Okay. And this only goes to like two. So let's go get one of those things real quick. Of the, uh, where are they? The things that do the power transfer. I look forward to having a system that I can see everything easily. Oh, I have them on, on me. Ah. <laughs> okay, we'll go down here. I'm going to put it over here. Right about there. And, and there we go. So everything should have power. Now it should be good to go. Yeah, it's getting power. Good. Excellent. Okay, let's try to make a pulverizer now. So this is part of the process we need. Copper gears and the redstone reception coil. I think I made this already. I did. Let's get rid of some of this stuff here that we don't need. And I have a bunch of that in my inventory. So I have uh, iron that we can use to test the pulverizer. Okay, we got that part. Flint and a piston. Okay, where is the flint? We got flint in here someplace. There's some flint, and we need a piston, right? Uh, let's see, we need red, some redstone. We took that out of our inventory. We don't need that. There we go. Get the piston. There we go. And we have a piston. And now we need a machine frame. It takes a tin gear and some iron and some glass. We don't have enough tin here, so let's get some more tin. Uh-huh. And we go in here. Tin gear. There we go. Got that. And then we have that and then we should have enough for a pulverizer there we go okay so now this system the pulverizer really should feed into the system we have right there uh, right in the back of the line so that goes into this system right here so we could either put it into this chest which is not a bad idea except for the fact that this chest is an input chest but it would be nice to have it like a like a um, I don't know what you want to call it maybe a buffer chest if you will uh, so let's let me take out some of this wall here and we're gonna see what we can do Okay, so we're going to look in here because we want to tie on into that line right there. Okay, so let's see. we got a chest. Let's put a chest here. We'll have to put an output a servo right there. Let me take out this piece right here too. Okay, we're going to put an output servo there, and then we want to have a line going from that into here. Um, this will be where the pulverizer is. And maybe put it in line right here. Does the pulverizer, I believe the pulverizer has output, doesn't it? I believe it does. So if I put, uh, and of course the chest won't function without space above it, so let's give it space right there. So if I put a break here, and let's just say right here's the pulverizer, that way we can kind of have like a, uh, a space like right there, it's kind of hiding it, right? And even this. So you wouldn't see that as per se. Okay, there's the pulverizer. And then, uh, hmm, I'm not sure. We need like an input way to get into the input of this pulverizer. Some sort of like a chest or something. So, uh, I don't know. Okay. Let's think. We got to have something out here maybe. Because all my other chests are out. So maybe we need to have some sort of chest that's like right here. We'll have to move this. And... Hmm. 
wanders away disconnected from there. See, that's what I'm running into. Running into the fact that I might have some problems with this. Huh, let me think about this for a little bit. I'll get a good system and I'll show you what I come up with at the end. Okay, here's what I've got. So when you put an item in here, which will be like the ore, which we'll do in just a second, it goes up to here, it gets pulverized, which makes two of the dust. And we bring it in here. This is my storage buffer in case this is filled up. It'll pull it out in here, go into one of these resources full generators, or furnaces, I keep saying generator, and bring it out here. So since there's nothing here, if I put one item in here, there's one iron. You can see eventually it gets sucked into this machine. It'll kick on in just a second. There it goes. Okay. Now it processes this a little bit. It's kind of slow. And all these machines we can speed up. And all the, the various condos and servers we can speed these things up. And it goes into here. You see we have two of the iron. I already sucked it out. And just a second it'll be put into here. Okay. So this system is also working very well for us. There they are. There's one. Let's see if we can find the other one. Give it a second. It'll show up. And there's the second one. So the system is working great. Okay. So now I'm going to work on next is I'm going to make the iron drum and some fluid conduit. I want the fluid conduits to come out of here, run all the way around over to here, and be in a drum that's right sitting on this block. Okay. So I have to first find my fluid conduits again. So let me go do that and get everything ready to go, and we'll do this together. Okay. Let's make a drum. Okay, the drum takes a lot of iron. One piece is you need to have a cauldron. And you need two pressure plates. Let's do that. Okay, and then you need to have six iron. Oh, I'm just one short. Let's go see. I put up all of our iron ore in there, and it's going to town. So now if we make the drum, an iron drum here. There it is. We've got an iron drum. Okay. Now this... I want it to be right here, so I wanted to put it, and uh, I could put it out even. I think I will put it out just a little bit more, just because I can. Okay, now we're going to put in the fluid ducts. Now these things are kind of cool, but we're going to also gonna have to put um, servos on each of these, and I don't have enough servos on me, so I'll just do one for now. Okay, so put this line there. right into the drum there we go and then turn this one on okay and so this then should fill up with material do we have any in here at all no really it's this one i think that has some and this one doesn't have any at all either okay so let me go and get two more of the servos which we need more iron for i believe uh, do we have enough to make servos in here? Or do we have to go upstairs and get some more? Let's see. Iron nuggets. Ah, we can make that pretty easy. There we go. Okay. Let's make a couple more servos. There we go. Okay. And put one there. Servo. Turn it on. And another one. Come on. There we go. Servo. Turn it on. And already you can see this is filling up. It's changed color. It's got essence. So we are pretty well done with this. This is pretty cool. So we'll, now we'll just fill this in. And you can't see it. And I ran out of the nice blocks. Let's see, do I have any other blocks? Oh, I can change this up with some cobble. Let's put one there. And let me grab... There we go. Grab some of these blocks. And we'll put one here here and then we'll take those like that and there we have it we have up oh, I went too far ah okay now we have it so here's where we have our basically our where we put in the ores they'll be sucked into the machine into the resourceful generator or furnaces it's almost did it again it'll make what we need over here and then any of the time we have fluid it'll be put into here which is the where we have the essence pretty nice setup i just checked the times of all the video clips that i have and i'm over 20 minutes and that's where i usually try to uh stop the video so i think that's all i have time for today we have done a little bit more we added in the crafter here so we can craft up the latex and little balls into um, the dried ones the bigger ones that was pretty cool now i've shut this machine down because i didn't want it to waste so much power 
Uh, when we have plenty of plastic, if we need more, I'll just throw some logs in there and it'll do it. Okay, then we built the three resourceful uh, furnaces here. These three here are really cool. We do have an input and an output for it. This is where all the output goes. Now, we have our over here, we're the ore doubler, which you put any ores in here, it pulverizes and it goes into the system here, which outputs. And then any of the outputs over here, when they have the fluid essence, comes over here. And that's useful for some other things at a later time. So yeah, we've got a lot done today. So I think that's about it. Okay. There I am. Here I am. CCC. If you like this video, please click that like button. If you have any comments, put them in the comment section. And uh, of course, if you'd like to be notified of videos I produce, please subscribe to this channel. I really need those subscriptions. I can't stress that enough. So please, please, please subscribe to this channel. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye.